now i am going to discuss about the one to many relationship this kind of relationship refers to such relationship between two entities where one entity's record can be associated with multiple records in another entity for example i have two tables departments table and employees table so each department can have multiple employees but each employee belongs to only one department so i am going to show you the process from the beginning so that you can understand this is a fresh laravel installation this is the database name here i am going to set up my username and password are root now i am going in the terminal and i am going to create two tables one is departments and another one is employees so here i will create migration file first php artisan make migration then create departments table so this is one table and another table will be create employees table employees table now i will run the migrate command but before running the command i will use this command php artisan migrate but before going to do that i am going uh, to the database migrations this is the department and this is employees so in the departments table i am going to add just the department name so here so here is string here i will add the name that is department name okay and there is another table that is employees table and here i will add the employee information so here for example in the employees table i have the employee name and for example i have the employee phone number so here phone and another one here i will have to add that is the foreign key so table big integer then here i will write that will be department id that means when i am going to add the employees i will have to tell this employee will be under which department so i am going to add here the department id as the foreign key and in the department table it is actually this id that means the a primary key so in this way i just uh, create uh, will create these two tables first so i will run the command php partition migrate now i call here yes in order to create the database from scratch now i am going to check my php my admin refresh you see that the new database has been created that is laravel and here department and employees these are my two tables so here this is the departments and this is the employees so two tables are created successfully now as i have created two table what i will do i will create two models so php then artisan make model then department model and another model will be here employee model employee model so two models i have created and the models are created into here into the models folder here department and employee i am going to close the migration files okay now i will create a controller php artisan make controller for example home controller i just create a controller to control the thing so into the http controllers this is my controller and here i will create a function public function uh, for example index like this and in my web.php route here i am going to call the controller that i have created now home controller then class and then index will be my function so i give here index so this like this and in the top i will call use app then http controllers then home controller like this now in the home controller file in the top i will call my model for example the main model will be app then models then department i will call here the department model remember that i am i am i will first have to create the relation between the department and employee table i am going to create one to many relationship that means each department has many employee but each employee has only one department so i will use a has many relationship into the department model so here like the one to one that we did so similar like that i am going to call public then function and i am going to call the employee 
this function this function i will create you can give here any name as you want so here i give it then what i will return return this and i will have to use has many relationship because on to on to many relationships so for that reason i will have to use the eloquent has many function and here i will call employee then class then the relationship will be built that means i am going to tell the department that you have many employees so automatically the relation between the employee and department is created but in the employee table i do not have to need to tell anything because from the main table that means the first table is department and second table is employee because in the employee table i am going to use the department id as the foreign key so the main table in this case is department so in the main table i will have to call the has many relationship uh, the on to for the on to one relationship i will have to call the has many function now my function uh, uh, the department and employee model uh, task is created now is done now i will just call it so how i can show before going to show it i will have to add some uh, sample data here so that i you can understand so in the departments i am going to add some department name for example hr department i am going to uh, add it another one is for example it department and another uh, department is for marketing department for example i have total three departments here so under each department for example i have some employees i am going to add some employee for example peter and phone number one on one and he is under which department here department id one so click here another one there he is department id one that is smith here i am going to give his phone number like this add another one i am going to use for the department 2 that is for example patrick and here is 333 add here another one under the department 2 that is don and here 444 is the phone number then i am going to add another one under 2 that is for example robin he is for example 555 is the phone number and there is you know another department that is three so i am just going to add only one under that that is brent and uh, 777 for example so go here so this is the employees so under the department one i have two employees under the department two i have total three employees and under the department three there is only one employee so i just set up it and here are the departments so uh, as i already have the uh, relationship set up there so i can just use uh, it here okay so how i can easily use that i am going to show you so in order to show that i am going to run here department model and here i can use the width and here i will get the find for example the second a department i am going to find and here i will have to call the employee because in the department in the department model i have the employee function so i will have to call here the employee because i will have to tell if i want to use the relationship i created here or not so i am going to tell that yes i want to use the relationship that i built here so here after the line i am going to just show the information for example from the department table the information showing is actually name so in that case i will have to tell uh, i am going to call here uh, for example data variable so here i will have to call the data of name this will be actually the department name so this is uh, this should work because i straight call the department here so department table data i can easily access using this so here i am going uh, to check and here actually home route is okay it department okay so i am going uh, i have used the department id too so it is showing here so from to it is showing here but for the uh, depart it department i have total three employees right so here if you go to check it the another one that is data of employee as i am going to use the function here employee so you can state call here the data employee the function name so in this case what actually will be happened if i go here refresh you will see that array three that means total three employee i get this is first employee um, that is here attributes uh, so this is patrick and the second employee is under here the attributes that is done 
patrick don and third one is actually here that is robin so let's check if it is uh, real or not so under two you see that patrick don robin so it is working so what i will do i have the data employee as an uh, array format so i am going to use the for is loop here so for is i will break the array so here item so here i am going to tell that uh, item of employee has two attribute i uh, on his name and another attribute is that is phone right so this is name and another one is phone so i am going to give here a br for the better understanding like this and here i also give the br so that you can understand and in the last item i am going to use the double br so here like this like this so let's check it uh, i am going here refresh you see that it is the department uh, after department i am going to give another one so that you can understand so under the it department this is the department under this department i have total three students this one this one and this one that means uh, what is this patrick don and robin now if i change the find one that means the first department there were actually two persons so refresh you see that the department one is hr and under that two persons are here and in the third department if you give here find three there it will show only one person refresh you see that last department was marketing department and brent was the student here last in the last department this one 